Now to the murder of a 15-year-old in Brooklyn. He was shot and killed right outside his apartment building. And tonight, a new clue could help police track down his killers. CBS 2's Matt Kozar is live in Flatbush with the latest. Matt? Jessica, in the darkness, you can see light. Just behind me, these candles are burning in honor of the 15-year-old shot and killed in the foyer of his building. Police remain on the scene tonight as they search for the killers. They're hoping someone recognizes the men in these images. Police are looking for these two men. These images were captured by security cameras near the crime scene. Both are believed to be 18 to 25 years old. One was wearing red Adidas sweatpants. Police say the men were riding in this four door sedan. At a vigil Saturday, family and friends supported a mother with a broken heart. 15 year old Samuel Joseph was described as friendly, funny, and athletic with no known enemies. He was just a good kid, man, you know? He doesn't, he's not a gang member, he's not into any type of situation that will actually cause that. Chopper 2 captured video of the crime scene Friday night, where witnesses say a suspect was seen waiting outside the family's building on Flatbush Avenue, firing a weapon as the teen was getting food. Samuel was shot in the face, neck, and chest. Police believe he may not have been the intended target. Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams says his office will help with funeral services and fundraising. Any information will help the police department put together the pieces to solve the puzzle and we could get this gun off the street and we can get the person responsible off the street. The Joseph family is originally from Haiti. Samuel was the youngest of five children. Reporting live in Flatbush, Brooklyn, Matt Kozar, CBS 2 News.